yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video on Xenoverse 2. My name is Vinus. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a super skill, Key Blast super skill called Shine Shot. You get it out of Parallel Quest number 7, Attack the Saiyan, and all you got to do to the ultimate finish that PQ is to beat all the Cybermen. Now, I won't show you the PQ, I'm just going to review this skill in PvP. Let's get it. That's right, my friend. Let me ask you, does a machine like yourself ever experience fear? <laughs> Alright, so first up, we're fighting old zombies for a lifeio, I guess. And I wanted to, once I first saw his CAC, I was like, okay, I don't know if this guy's actually really, really good or this is like a troll build or something like that. I thought because he put so much time and dedication into making sure his character looked a certain type of way that this guy was actually going to know exactly what he's doing. He's got him looking like Hercule a little bit. So the idea of fighting a troll in Xenoverse 2 in 2018 just did not occur to me. So uh, this is definitely a troll build, and I was 100% uh, caught by this. Okay, so he's got the back hits going. Now, basically, all I want to do is show you the Shine Shot. There it is right there. Now, Shine Shot is cool because it shoots a blast, and it lets you move, like, like way far out of the way. So if you're fighting somebody and you want to dip out of the way, like, I'm pretty sure I can tell that Ozombie for Lifeo, he wasn't exactly sure for, you know, like, ready for Shine Shot. Like, he'd never seen it before. I can, I can almost 99% guarantee that he's never gone up against somebody using shine shot because he didn't know how to take it I could tell by the way he was fighting me so shine shot once you do the attack you can either go left or right with it and it basically just shoots a key blast and gets you out of the way now if you attack somebody like you're doing the regular square combos like maybe hit him two or three times and then do the shine shot because if you do it three or four times and then do the shine shot like to the like maybe the fifth hit of the combo whatever it probably won't connect but it will have the good side effect of still getting you out of the way however if they are quick enough, they can attack you while you're still in that little sort of like stunned or, or prone state or whatever like that. Alright, so here you see me using it on him. Like, I'm actually spamming on him. His stamina is so down. He is so low. And at first, I thought his stamina was low on purpose. Well, actually, that was his ass right there. And I tried to do the stamina break right there. Just a medium stamina break or low stamina break. And the game, for whatever reason, didn't let me do it. So there he goes with his limit burst. He limit burst, and now he's trying to hit me with the, uh, there it is right there. He finally got me with his, with his left and left, right and right, and then there goes his change now. I'm helpless. I can't do anything right now. So, this is the, uh, goal that he wanted to accomplish. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That's good for you, pal. People are still doing this in 2018 in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. If it sounds like I'm salty, yeah, I am a little bit salty. I don't like the fact that he was doing that, the limit burst, because I had him. That one stamina break, the low stamina break, I should have, it should have worked. Like, you, you legitimately had, he had no stamina, and I pressed up and square on my controller, but it did not stamina break him for whatever reason. You know, Xenoverse has that happen sometimes, but, you know... I just wanted to show a shine shot, so that's why I really don't care about winning or losing. I really don't care about winning or losing in Xenoverse either way, except, except when there's a person who's really just hella talk and trash or whatever like that, because I really don't think that's even cool. I don't I don't ever, like, tell anybody that I'm, like, the best or even good at Xenoverse. At, at most, I'll tell people that I'm average, and that's what I do believe. I'm, at best, average at Xenoverse. So it's always very frustrating for me when people are like, oh, you think you're so good at Xenoverse, or they have this huge vendetta that they have to prove, you know, against me and stuff like that. So it's whatever, man. If you feel like you got to prove something against me in Xenoverse, don't. I'm not good. I'm okay. I'm average at best. You probably play the game more than I do, honestly. All right, like this dude, oh, zombie for life, yo. <laughs> he took a lot of pride in his build and a lot of pride in his character, the way it's made, all right? So I'm using his character now. He's using my character, and, uh, yeah, I really can't compete with my character compared to his character. His character's kind of like... I don't know. His character's buns, but he did that on purpose. But it's okay, though. I had a lot of fun playing this match, despite the fact of getting really pissed off at him doing the body change tease. Uh, I, that wasn't what pissed me off in this battle. What pissed me off in this battle is the stamina break not working, because I 100% had this game won. He probably would have did his little uh, limit burst stamina, uh, limit burst crap and got some healing back. But the fact of the matter is, I would have got him and I wouldn't have been body changed, whatever like that. So, uh, GG's to you, oh zombies for life, yo. He sent me a friend request directly after this because I kicked him out of the lobby ASAP with that BS. And he said, I'm sorry. And he said, I'm sorry because he knew what he did was bull. That was bull, but it's whatever. All right, so Rhodes Boys 1317. I, I was super scared when I saw him pick Gohan. Like, when you see somebody pick a character like Kid Gohan, that's a very specific character. And uh, only two types of people use Kid Gohan. And one of them is the minority, and one of them is the majority. 
the minority people who pick Gohan are the people who just have just got the game and they like the way the kid Gohan looks and plays and they just want to play with them and they're not that good because they just got the game. The majority of the people who you fight that use Kid Gohan, they're going to mollywop you and there's nothing that you can do about it. So when I saw Rhodes Boy would get Kid Gohan, I was super afraid, but it didn't matter. Like I said, I just wanted to show you Shine Shot and how well it works in battle. And it's actually not a bad skill, you know, all said and done, man. I mean, it's, it's not like super duper good, like, oh man, Shine Shot is like the next R slide. But it is definitely a very useful tool when it comes to PvP because it definitely gets you out of the way. You know, it almost looks like a Key Blast Cancel because the Key Blast Cancel has that little movement part of it. And then you have that that hits you, uh, hits your opponent and then kind of slides you to the side. And then it's a good, good attack, I guess. I mean, I, I really don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, it, it's a su Key Blast Super. It does, you know, that's not supposed to do like hella damage, but it does what it's supposed to do. It hits your opponent and slides you out of the way. And if your opponent has not seen the move before like they haven't uh, approached it or encountered it then they're in for a surprise and those surprise little moves are you know i kind of think what what sometimes may give you the edge in a game if you're playing your you know, that he didn't know what was going on he said well, fuck, how did he hit me and move out the way at the same time is that some sort of new form of key blast cancel what kind of new cheese is this no nah, it's not any type of new cheese that's that uh <laughs> that's that shine shot i wonder why they gave it the name shine shot i feel like side shot should have been a, a really good name but the, the name shine shot makes it sound like it's a, a better skill than what it is like i feel like people and i'm not trying to talk about anything other about you know views or whatever i'm just saying i feel like people are going to click on this video because yeah what, what is shine shot i've never heard of that before is that actually in the game is that a new skill that sounds like it's going to be op you know okay so here's this dude ace 1177 double b I tell you, I listen, I S you not. When I fought this guy, I was actually getting a little bit frustrated because I was like, oh, damn man, fight me, stop moving around so much. Alright, so I mean I knew I could I knew I could probably get him, but it's the fact that he was like he's moving around like a son of a beach. Not not the other word, beach, son of a beach. The son of a beach is like a lake. A beach. What's a beach? A beach is where the water meets the ant meets the, 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 the earth. So so do lakes have beaches or is, are beaches just confined to oceans? I mean, what do you call the part where lake water meets the earth? Is that not also a beach? Is there a special name? Somebody Google that for me. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna Google it myself. I'm not gonna do it right now though, because my phone is on the other side of the room. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to get off on a tangent getting off philosophical. Let's get back to this fight right here. Okay, so I'm using Yoshi. <laughs> And I got him to Super Baby 2 close because I am actually kind of getting a little bit pumped for the new content coming out with Xenoverse 2. Because, I mean, honestly, bro, Xenoverse 2 is great and all right and everything like that. But I, I'm just, I'm bored. I can't wait for the new content to come out. Um, I, I really can't wait for Xenoverse 3 to start, you know, being worked on, man. I feel like all the new Bandai Namco games that are coming out, like, in the next couple of months... Like, they're going to be awesome until the next Xenoverse 3 come out. Because I honestly feel like this. And tell me if you feel the same way. I feel like we're all just waiting for the next Xenoverse. Like, everybody who plays Bandai Namco games, for the most part, I'll say maybe 75% of the people who play Bandai Namco games, we're all just waiting for the next Xenoverse. We're all waiting for Xenoverse 3. And there's a bunch of games that are coming out in between to hold us over. Shinobi Strikers, that game is 100%. I don't know, man. I feel like Shinobi Strikers is like this. I feel like that's going to be the Xenoverse and I got pissed off, bro. You don't know how many fights I had before this guy that were all losing limit burst. And I'm like, man, I'm getting so sick and friggin' tired of people. God, limit bursting. Stop it. So I said, you want to see a limit burst? I'll show you a limit burst, and I'll beat you down with the limit burst. I don't like limit bursts, though. I think limit bursts are really dumb, and I think they're stupid, and I think they shouldn't be in the game. I think that uh, people already have enough chances with perfect blocks and super souls and all this other crap. There you go. Hit that stamina break, and I hit him with a big bang attack. Now I'm going to hit him with this final flash. Final flash! Take away a good portion of his health with that weak-ass final flash. Probably should have transformed on him. But no, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with the, um, the limit, uh, the limit burst. I don't. I don't think it should be able to keep you from getting stamina broken, and I don't think it should, like, restore a large part of your health. Where do I do that in Dragon Ball? The only thing that restores people's health in Dragon Ball is Sensu Beans. And, uh, you know, I disabled healing in my matches so people can't heal i disable items so people can't can't do that sort of stuff so it's it's very frustrating to me when people can get their health back in a match after i'm fighting them but i mean for the most part i'm not trying to toot my own horn but for the most part I, you know people that i come across i really don't have 
too much trouble. I mean, there are some people here and there that are really, really awesome, and you guys know who you are. I fought you in matches, and I'll get on the mic and tell you. I was like, look, bro, you're you're way better than I am. I can't I can't mess with you. You're you're a, a a monster at this game. I'm trying to do a build video, and I can't do that if uh if you're whooping me. So you know I've got I got a dip on you. I told that to a couple. I told that the one dude yesterday. I was playing with him, and uh he was he was beating me, and it wasn't like I couldn't like. Really, like, I, like, it wasn't like I was getting mollywopped. I probably could have beat him if I was really trying to apply myself and do nothing but win. But I wanted to show off the move set for, you know, Solar Fur, no, the Super Saiyan 3 Strike move. I wanted to show the moves off. And for people like that, you really can't do the skills that you're trying to do. So you, you have to really just concentrate on just using your base, you know, Saiyan fighter skills, you know, sidesteps, key blast cancels, you know, catching them when they're slipping or whatever like that, and using moves in between, it's really difficult. So the dude hopped on the mic when I, I was like, look, bro, you're way better than me and stuff like that, because during the match or whatever, he would hit me and, you know, and he would make a little troll spin, and then he would say something like, overconfidence will get you, you know, whatever like that. He, I just hate when people do that, man. If we're going to play Xenoverse and fight, let's play Xenoverse and fight. Don't, don't do that extra stuff. So when I told him what I was trying to do, and uh, he was like, well, I'll let, let's fight again. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to fight you again. Just so what, you can take it easy on me so I can show the build off? Or what? No, nah, nah, I'm not going to. That's fake. I'm not going to, like, do a, a build video and then have you, like, take it easy on me. Because then that's me lying to my viewers and subscribers. Letting them think that I'm better than what I am or whatever. Like, And if you can beat me, you can beat me. I'm just sorry I can't use it. I can't use the footage for you because I can't do my build on you. Because you're way too good. I mean, does that make sense? I think that makes perfect sense. All right. I'm sorry if I, 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 you know, I'm sorry. I apologize if this is this commentary is getting a little complainy or whiny or whatever like that. Because honestly, man, unless you, you know, done this type of stuff, it's really difficult to uh, keep a keep a going conversation with yourself for about eight or nine minutes. It's kind of difficult. There's only so much you can say about the build and uh, about what's going on. And I don't want to sound dickheadish if I keep talking about people that I'm whooping and stuff like that. Because people in the comments get super duper sensitive when you overly say, oh, you got beat. Oh, look at you. You're out of stamina. Oh, look at you. Okay, I got you again. You got no stamina. I'm going to snap finish around you. Oh, got you with the keep last cancel. Knock you away. Stamina break. Oh, the up and square did not work that time. Your ass got saved. Here it goes again. One more again. Up you go. And then down you go. Then I'm going to hit you with the another key blast cancel because i have no more stamina i'm gonna get you off of me with a key explosion look at your health your health is gone Rhodes boy oh here's a side side shine shot i'm gonna shine shot you to death Rhodes boy i gotta get my stamina back Rhodes boy just doesn't know he could he could have me with a stamina break if he wanted to because there are certain situations where you just got to take it and if he would have tried to stamina break me right there it would have been a wrap all right sh side step shine shot side step shine shot here it goes side step shine shot Oh, you just transformed. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. That's unfortunate. Oh, snap vanish. Shine shot. Boom! Got you again. Hey, come at me again, bro. Snap vanish. I'm going to take the damage right here, and then I'm going to snap vanish. He needs one more shine shot, and it's a wrap for Oh, no. What are, you're never going to hit me at that. Where did he do that at? Come on at me, boy. Oh, you're shooting some ghosts out your mouth. Shine shot on you. One more shine shot, and it is a wrap. Well, if you did enjoy this video, do me a huge, huge favor. Let me know what you thought about this move down in the comments and check out one of these videos. Thank you, guys. Peace out.